Elizabeth Street, Little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. Welcome to the Vinny and Valeria show tonight. Oh, thank Hello, you, Valeria. Vinny. Hello, baby. Hello, How are you? Always a pleasure to have this girl alongside uh, of me. Thank Boy, you. am I lucky. <laughs> Keep your eyes in your head. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, um, normally I always start off the, uh, the show with a little topic. You know, a couple of weeks ago when that police officer was killed on the East River Drive, you know, they got to do something with these laws. These laws have to change. You know, so they get the gun, they find the gun in the, in the uh, Harlem River, wherever it was. In the and, East and River. And then they, they got to give the guy life in prison. Now, listen to this. The, I, I, I mentioned this a long time ago on my show, that to keep, to incarcerate one person in jail, it's a ballpark of about $40,000 a year one person. Now think of how many people are in Rikers Island, men and women, Sing Sing, Napanak, uh, Taksaki. How come I know all these places? Yes, well, exactly. I, I, do a lot of, <laughs> I do a lot of studying, you know? Mm. <laughs> uh, you know and, and with all these prisons in New York and New York State, approximately 40,000, you, you know what they should do to them? I know it's a little barbarian, but if you kill, you know, I believe in an eye for an eye. Why should we have to, the taxpayers have to pay to keep someone in jail? Forty thousand dollars. If you kill somebody, they should inject them and get them out. Get them. Uh, yeah, that's a little barbarian. I know it is. But then again, they don't think it's barbarian when they go out and kill people. You know, so they should just inject them, kill them, and. And get rid of him, give him back to his family or whatever, let them bury him. What do you say about that? Yeah, well, the story behind that is that they're supposed to suffer in prison and think about what they've done. Oh, oh, oh yeah, think about what they're doing. We're suffering over here having to pay the taxes. Yeah, I guess everybody suffers. Yeah, well, I hope that, I just hope that if, um, what's his name, Trump is elected, I just hope he does something about this, these laws. You know, um, they, they want to buy back guns for $100. They give you $100 if you bring a gun in. Well, what was that? They bring in an old gun and they get, they get another one. You know, it doesn't make sense. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. You, just, you know, you just got to stay away from trouble. You see an argument on the street, walk to the other side. Don't walk by it, just try to see what's going on. Mind your business, walk to the other side of the street. You know, my, my grandfather used to tell me, he used to hang out in a, in a social club in Little Italy. He said, Vinny, listen to me, he used to call me grandpa. If you ever see two guys talking outside the club and you're standing there, walk away. Because they'll always say that, hey, that kid Vinny Vella was, was standing right close to us. So whenever you see two people talking, and especially if they're talking with their hands over their mouth like this, because they got lip readers, you know? <laughs> walk away from them. <laughs> So, you know, every time I used to see somebody put their hand up at their mouth, I used to run. So I wasn't <laughs> sure what that was going on, you know? So, uh, and then, the less you know, the better. And then down in Italy, they have a saying, you know why most Italians have short necks? <laughs> you know why? You will tell us? Huh? You will tell us? Yeah. Do you know why? Why? Because every time you ask them a question, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. This isn't no time for jokes. <laughs> anyway, uh, once again, happy holidays happy to everybody, holidays. to Mama in Germany. To we'll, Mama in Germany. Are we going to go and see her? We're going to go We're gonna and go see her. We're going to go and see her, okay. We're going to go and see Mama in Germany, okay. She, I have to dye my hair again, dark, because she sees all the silver hair. <laughs> she, uh, she might punish her and not let her come back to the States, okay. So meantime, when we She's had... going to think I brought Santa Claus with me. <laughs> If she says that, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to show you daddy. No, I will. I will. No, well, then don't say any clause. I love her. 
And it comes out with good ones. Um, now she made me forget what I was going to say. All right. Happy holidays to everybody. This, that, this, that. Bam, bam, bam. They should change the laws. Um, yes, we will go. <laughs> yeah, we will. And uh, somebody told me I should dye my hair blonde. What do you think? Well, I've got dark eyelashes. So what do you think? Blonde or dark brown? Maybe red. Say what? Maybe red. Maybe red? Yes, why Maybe? not? Why don't you do yours blonde? This way I can feel like I'm with someone else every, every <laughs> once in a while, too. I'm only joking. I love you. You know that. Anyway, tonight we have the same guest that we had last week. Not only, again, is she a friend, we love her. Um, a wonderful got, singer. Oh, I'm sorry? A wonderful singer. A wonderful singer, right, yeah. And um, she's a friend of so many people. She's been around the world. And the last San Gennaro feast in Little Italy, she was on the float. And uh, they have a restaurant or, or a, 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 what is it? Fontanelli's, what is that? A cheese and? A deli store. A deli store named after her. That's right. We're both Neapolitan. And uh, I think I mentioned it last week that a friend of mine, another idiot, he goes on a diet before he goes to Italy. You go there to eat, you don't go to see nothing. But anyway, uh, yes. people, they just think backwards. But anyway, I'd like to introduce her. Yes. Love her. She's a good friend. And uh, please give her a nice hand. Christina Fontanelli. All right.
What's your favorite dish? Tell me, Neapolitan. My favorite dish. Salad. Right. Christina Fontanelli. Again with the food. Hello, 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 hello. hello Vinny Bella hello. and Valerio. So nice hello, to see you Christina. Again. Welcome Thank back. Thank you. There you go. What's your favorite I, dish? I said this time we weren't going to talk about food, but here we go. We weren't. My. <laughs> oh, I don't we, no, no, I'm, not, I'm only joking. Oh, I'm right. I love to eat, as you can probably kind of tell. You know what but dish I like? Uh, La Putanese. La Putanesca. That's not my favorite, Vinny. Okay, but you I know? like that because that's But I love it, too. I love it, too. You know, it's a good one, you know? Which, which one is yours? Oh, dear. You know what I love? It must be from my Italian background. I love scongili. Did you ever have scongili? Do you, have yeah, scongili? Yeah. Do you know what that is, Valeria? No, I don't no, know. No, that's I'm the, gonna bring that's the conch shell. It's like the like a snail, basically. It's like a mm. big shell like that. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, and, and the scoongeal, when it comes out, it's like that round and that big. And, and okay. when and I was a little girl, it, shrinks. I used to eat it. They used to give it to me with a toothpick and take the, oh, the well, snail out. Oh, well, you're talking about the little ones. Yeah, because they, and they were raw. I didn't even know what I was eating. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's my background, <laughs> Naples and no, Mofetta. Whatever goes in my mouth has to be a little warmed up a little bit. It's got to be <laughs> cooked a little bit. When I know? grew up, I realized what it was. I wouldn't eat it anymore. Scoo but no, it's not, so nice to be. Not just playing school jail, though. I like Ed. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right. Oh, we, I don't know how much time we have. I definitely want to tell your audience about my wonderful, talking about Italian food. Yeah. My wonderful 12th annual Christmas in Italy. I know this is too small for you to focus on, but... Um, they're going to be so sweet here and flash the information. There it is. It's oh, Saturday, it is. December 19, here right in Greenwich Village in New York City at NYU, New York University, the Skirball Center for the Performing Arts. Beautiful, beautiful red velvet seats, gold. We have a, an, ex, an Italian extravaganza. You are Neapolitan, Vinny, so we have, in your honor, Mandolins playing, oh, uh, accordion, boy. guitar. We have children singing oh, and dancing. Boy, oh, the choir is coming from Staten Island. Uh, we talked about this on the last show, but I want to tell your audience. The Richmond Choral Society of Staten Island is coming. And Dance Electra, they are high school students from Staten Island. They won a huge competition. They're going to dance for us, a beautiful Christmas tune. We have the little language studio of Diker Heights, Brooklyn. The little kids coming to sing in Italian. And uh, and uh, I'll have my PBS co-hosts. Oh, boy. So uh, you, you're going to put on what, about an hour show? No, it lasts two and a half hours. You're not going to be singing for two and a half hours, are you? I sing for a good part of it, <laughs> but not the whole time. <laughs> not the whole time. <laughs> Excuse me, I saw a little thing. You're a funny girl. Oh, wow. You're that's, a I'm, funny man. I love you, but, too. Uh, they love it so much that it's running 12 years, and um, we've had Broadway show producers interested and PBS television. So it's headed towards PBS, and it's also perhaps headed uh, to a Broadway press show. and everyone else going to be there, too? Well, we hope so. Yeah, we're going to invite... Um, okay, well, I have... Um, you think maybe Larry might come down for that one? Yes, he would. Okay, would this is a, a guy who used to work for The Post... Then he oh, transferred, he went to the news. Now he's independent. He's making more money doing it on his own. Oh, fabulous. And then we'll see if we get him to come down. He's a very good friend of ours. Very we good. always have uh, lunch good. and brunch and whatever with him. 
And I don't, you know, I, I forgot. Did I did I introduce you in the beginning of the show? You know, I don't. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> no, gonna, no. I'm sorry. No, sometimes I forget. I get, I'm, you know, when I have an ex of me, sometimes I forget what I'm saying. You know. When well, we used filmed ago, two used to, shows in a row, too, right? You're right, you're right. Well, you know, years ago, I used to work with the fashion industry. Yeah. And I've had uh, Cindy Crawford, Naomi Campbell, Kate yeah. Moss, Veronica Webb, Frederick from Victoria's Secret, goes on and on and on. And, um, and when I see Valeria, you want to know something? It brings me back to when I used to work the fashion industry. It really does. Because in the morning, when I used to go to work, uh, the girls, all they have to do is just shower and clean up, no makeup, no nothing. They want to do everything there, yeah. you know. And then sometimes you don't recognize them after they, they do them all up, you know. And But she reminds me of, of uh, those days when, uh, and you know, every day I used to fall in love every <laughs> that day. That I look whatever. completely different without makeup. Uh, <laughs> you well, wouldn't recognize me. No, you, or what are you no, trying to say? I wouldn't recognize you either. Oh, I no, I've know. seen you. Well, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> but we didn't tell the audience that Valeria was Miss Germany. She was Miss Germany 2011. And, and Miss Universe Miss Universe. Or I represented Germany in Miss Universe. Now, isn't that, that is just beautiful. <laughs> huh. and, and since this is our second show in a row, um, I really appreciated your wonderful uh, repartee with Vinny and uh, comments. So I'm sure that's <laughs> one of the reasons you won Miss Germany. Because when they ask the questions, you have to be kind of um, intelligent oh, and she's charming. On the ball. You know? She's on the ball, this girl. <laughs> Gotta be Which there. Is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> and Valeria, you were telling me you like speak so many languages, and um, I actually sing in nine languages. Wow. But most people think of me as an Italian singer. Mm -hmm. But I do um, sing in many other languages, and I've traveled to Japan, I've traveled to Korea, oh, to oh, Russia, oh. to uh, the Ukraine, and. Um, to uh, the Middle East, Istanbul, Hong Kong. And, and how many languages do you speak? I speak Italian the best because I use it the most, yeah. but I speak some French, some You know, Spanish, I've never told anybody this, German. but I speak yeah. every language. You, every single language. Really? Yep. Every woman understands this. <laughs> Oh, and some I'm men sorry. as well. You made it. It's, it's universal. I'm sorry. It's universal. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. You're the universal man. <laughs> That's how I met her, and I couldn't get rid of her since. I'm only oh. joking. I love you. You know that. <laughs> um, so anyway, wow, this is so great. I mean, you got so many things going on for you, and uh, I just want to mention. I mean, since we, you know, thank you for having me on your show. Um, we can show people, I, if you like, Please. this is one of the, I don't know if, can, if you could focus in on who I'm with in this picture, but Tony is that Bennett. possible? The great yeah, Antonio yeah. Benedetto. Yeah, yeah. Tony Bennett. Look As that. a matter of fact, I, I, this was taken at Feinstein's at the Regency Hotel where I performed so many times. And um, I, I sang for Mickey Rooney's 90th birthday party. And uh, as a matter of fact, a book just came out about Mickey Rooney. Um, I, I don't know if they can focus on that, but um, I think they got it on that one already. Oh, no, oh there it is. There, it there you look go. Oh, there you boy, go. Oh, boy. Yeah. oh, look at that. So I'm so <laughs> proud. I'm in the book about Mickey Rooney, and it just came out. I was at Barnes and Noble the other night with the authors of it's From Simon and Schuster. That? No, he passed he away. He passed away just recently. Then, because I remember. Just several years ago, yeah. I do remember him being alive. Yes, he was alive, and we celebrated his 90th birthday, and Donald Trump showed up for him, and Regis Philbin, and Tony Bennett, mm -hmm. Michael Feinstein. I mean, it was an incredibly uh, star-studded evening, you know? Uh, did you get a picture with him? I, didn't, I did get a picture with Mickey, yeah. I, but it's not, I don't have it right here on me, but, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, I've met him several times myself. He was, what quite, a guy. He was quite something. What a guy, yeah. He yes, was wonderful. He really was. And um, so anyway, it's exciting to be part of that book and um, to have my Christmas show coming. Do you like show business? I, I, you know, Vinny, I was meant for show business, and I was so shy. You know, I, I graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts, and I remember Robert Redford actually came and spoke to our class. And the, uh, the, the theater was not much bigger than this TV studio, and we could hardly hear him speak because most actors are quite shy. I know you're not. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm only joking. I don't know, maybe you are. She got me but out of that. So many actors are shy, and I was very, very shy. 
and I had to learn. And you said how he to, was shy. He he was shy because I mean I in my opinion because it wasn't a very large space. Well, he and, doesn't. Uh, he's not a, a very. He's not a, a talker. No. Like like De Niro. He's not a talker. Like you know, he gets in yeah. front of the camera. He's not shy. De Niro's not shy. Nor is Robert Redford. They but just the not actors talkers. are taught to put up the fourth wall. You know, yeah. so when I started singing, I had to learn how to take down the fourth wall and entertain. It was, it was, uh, it was like, it was a transition for me to mm -hmm. be able to entertain an audience. Before you started singing, did you, what did you do before that? I wanted to be an actress. I studied but, acting. What, but, how, but how about before you studied acting? I really wanted to be an actress uh, because I graduated from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and um, I never expected to be a singer, and I tell people I always had a really and you love it. good voice. You know what I love, Vinny? Because I think it's what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. It's the gift that God gave me, so um, that's what I love. God gave and me a gift too. And it makes you too. happy. It makes right? me happy to use yeah. what I what I'm yeah. born to do. Mm -hmm. You know. You understand. Uh, yeah, you know, God gave me a gift, too. He got me, you know, before I was an actor, you know what I used to do? I was a milk man. Why are you? I said, I swear to God. I said, deliver milk. And uh, I used to bust my hump, deliver milk for $325 a week, five and a half days. And then I did my first film, and uh, I was only on a set for an hour, and that paid me $240 because I spoke. And the only two words I said on that are, uh, that I spoke was, oh shit, that was it. And I got paid, well, I spoke, so I got paid $240. There you and I go. said, I got paid $240 for an hour's work, and here I am, $325 bust on my hump. You know that? I said, you want me to kill somebody with this truck because I had to drive a truck <laughs> and say, oh shit. <laughs> I said, no, and you did just fine. But then, you know, after I did that, I liked that. You know, then I did so many films yeah, after yeah, that, yeah. independent films. And, and films that hit the big screen, and then all of a sudden they were taken off after a week or two on it. Yeah, but you've done so many that were but on I've the big screen. But I've done so many of them, you know. And and I, I like what I do because I meet so many beautiful women all the time, Aww. you know. But if if I wasn't who I was, she wouldn't be sitting here with me. I'm oh, Benny. No. <laughs> I Tell love you for the love. person. I'm a chill up, Show, show them. From here to the moon and back. Let me not tell you how much I love you. And uh, oh, right, but anyway. So you were asking me. I mean, did you want to know if I did other jobs? I mean, before I before I sang, you know. I mean, I, I don't did, think so, right? I did some things. Yes, I had to pay for my voice lessons. As a matter of fact, it's one of the reasons I learned how to sing, for example, in Yiddish, because at Yiddish. the tail end of the Catskill Mountain era, so to speak. They used to send me up to the Catskill Mountains to the resorts to oh, sing. Oh, there were Jewish up there. And I learned how to sing in Yiddish. Two beautiful songs that I still sing. And uh, I and I started traveling with the Montefani Orchestra to Japan, to Korea, to you know. I've been back to those countries on my own. I have so many stories of being on the road. Oh, I just wish we really had so much more time to keep you on the show because you're so interesting. But you know what? I just forgot that we had the the guy gave me the finger before. <laughs> I mean, not like the one finger. Not that you know, finger. Like, I didn't mean it that way. You know, like. Uh, so how much more time we have left? You want to try to. Uh, do one more song while you're up there? I'll be happy to. Oh, please. Thank you so much. Please, oh, you're Benny. the best. You know it.
for thinking that my